Hey muggies, today we are going to recommend some Sims 4 book recs, this time for the Caliente household. So let's get started. Calientes were I think one of the first families I played um, and I always use Dawn for whenever I attempt a hundred baby challenge because that man is so easy to please anyways um, so I am very excited to get to them um, I think the favorite out of them is Nina I think it is no it's Dina Dina Dina's my favorite um, she should just she just seems to have a lot more going on for her. Anyways, um, if you don't know them, they are basically um, a family. I know outside of The Sims 4, I'm not sure in The Sims 4, but outside of The Sims 4, um, the three ladies, uh, Karina, or Katrina, um, Dina, and Nina, they're all related. Katrina is the mother, mother of Dina and Nina, um, and Katrina... Dina and Nina, all three of them have a relationship with Dawn. It's weird. Um, some of them throughout some of the other older Sims games have been secret affairs. This one, he's living with them. It seems to be kind of an open secret now. I don't know what's going on with them because I always just break them up because they can do so much better than Dawn. Um, but anyways, we're going to jump in. We're going to jump and start with Katrina. Um, Katrina is a hothead, family oriented, and romantic sim. Um, she has the soulmate aspiration, which means her other trait is alluring, which goes with it. So, I think books that Katrina would really like, she would probably be looking for some of the, um, most recommended, the hottest books, ones that you can easily find at Barnes & Noble. I don't think that she would really have the time or care to go in searching through the shelves. She would immediately go to one of the suggested tables. So one of the first books that I think that she would pick up is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. That is one of the hottest books right now um, going around and Allie has uh, wrote two or three more books since then. Um, I, all kind of like the same feel of it. There are STEM focused romances. Um, this one in particular is Raylo-esque romance, um, which I don't know if Katrina would be into, but she would be into romance. I think that she's a re romance reader. Along with that one, I think that she would also like the Spanish Love Deception, which is a wedding romance book. Um, in this one, our main character, she has to get a date to her sister's wedding super quick. Um, someone that is able to just kind of go to Spain <laughs> on, a, on a whim with her. Um, she's not really dating anyone at the moment or anything. Um, so she chooses her colleague <laughs> who she doesn't have like that good of a relationship with. Um, and you know, sparks fly after that. <laughs> so it's pretty cute. Um, I think that Katrina would really like that. I also think that she would really like It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Um, this is a grumpy sunshine romance. Um, in this one, our female hero, um, our female character, she is like this rich party girl. And then all of a sudden, because of her rich partying way, she gets cut off from, um, she gets cut off by her dad. So she ends up in this small town and meets with this sea captain, I guess, um, this grumpy man. And yeah, <laughs> from there, um, I've heard it's really Stevie, um, which I think that Katrina would really enjoy. We're going to jump to my fave now, which is Dina. Um, Dina is an active, ambitious, romantic person. Her aspiration is to master mixologist. So she also has the trait of essence of flavor. So I think that first of all, she would really like the Foxhole Court. Um, the Foxhole Court is a college, um, sports romance book. I think that she would be pretty into sports romance books. Um, and that she might dabble into the LGBT sports romance era. Um, this one focuses on college soccer 
and two rivals from two different teams. I also want to really focus on um, Dina's um, master mixologist trait. Um, usually when I play her, I usually give, she has like a couple of skills in cooking and stuff like that. So I usually put her in a um, culinary career. I think that she would really like what the fire on high, um, which is about a teen main character who has a child but dreams of be basically becoming a chef and her journey to becoming that. Um, it was a super sweet book, and I think that she would really enjoy it. But she's also romantic. They, all of the sisters, or all of the family has some sort of romantic trait. Um, so I think that she would also like this book that's called Love from Scratch, which is YA, but it's more of like an A, more of like a new adult um, book about these two college interns that are competing for kind of a semi-permanent spot um, next semester they are thrown onto this segment at the last minute because they're both working for a cooking channel um, they're thrown at the last minute onto this segment where it's like interns cooking um, and they become famous they become a hit but people um, really want to see them again and again and again and that's where their relationship starts to take off um, I think that she would focus a lot more on like cooking romances and stuff like that. The last Caliente that we have, which is my least favorite because she is so overly flirty every time that I play with the Caliente household. I don't know why, um, but it is Nina. Um, Nina is a lazy, hot-headed, romantic sim. Her aspiration is Chief of Mischief, so she also has the dastardly trait. I think that she would be more into a couple of hard core steamier romances so I think that she would like Punk 57. Um, from my understanding Punk 57 is a steamy romance it involves like um, second chance romance I think in kind of a little enemies to lovers ish and I think it involves paintball I'm not entirely sure what it's all about and the synopsis is basically just lines from the book basically about them wanting each other it's steamy. We're just going to leave it at that. I also think that she would be into Den of Vipers. Um, Den of Vipers is a darker book. I've not read it yet. I don't know if I'm ever going to read it. Let's, let's just be completely honest. I'm not really into that type of hardcore romance, but I will try anything once. Um, but I do know it is uh, very dark. Um, it's kind of like a dark romance. Um, and... It is a Why Choose romance, and I think basically it involves like this gang called the Vipers, and they take this girl. I don't know the circumstances around that. I don't even know if it's entirely legal and how they took her, but anyway, she gets taken, and the synopsis is basically about these hot people or surrounding her. Uh, it's it's it, it's kind of interesting how hardcore romance markets their synopsises. Anyways, I think that Nina would be into those two books, but because of her dastardly trait, I also think that she would be into, like, villain-led crime books. Um, for example, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Um, basically, this book is about a cold case that went cold about five years ago uh, surrounding this girl's murder. Um, when our main character decides to take up the case for her final project, she starts investigating it and a lot of things start to come to light when that happens. Um, I think she would be into crime books and this is one of the more popular ones at the moment so I think that she would be willing to try that one. And last but certainly not least is Don Lothario. Uh, why? I, I, I always just pin him as like... Dude just dude just latches on to people and leeches off of them. Anyways, um, he is active, non-committal, and romantic. He has the serial romantic aspiration, and he is alluring. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Don does not strike me as someone that reads. I'm sorry. I, if he's your favorite, I'm sorry, but, like, he doesn't look like he reads. <laughs> so, I'm going to uh, suggest the bromance book club for him. The Romance Book Club, from my understanding, is kind of Fight Club-esque, but in book club format. Um, it is about, um, the book basically follows this guy. He is having a divorce of his wife because he found out um, that she's been faking it, if you know what I mean. 
Um, and he's a bit ashamed about that and some other things. Anyways, um, he joins this secret book club that is full of kind of alpha men. And through the book, our main character is being helped by these other men in saving his relationship. Um, it sounds really good. It's one of the more popular books right now. And it features alpha men, which honestly, Don thinks that he's an alpha man. I, I don't think he's going to be reading much more than that, but hopefully this book will inspire him. But yeah, that is a book recs for the Caliente household. If you like them, maybe you can check out some of these books that I suggested. I've not read all of them, um, so I don't know how good they are or anything like that. Romance is still very new to me. I'm still a baby in the romance genre. Give me a little bit to get into it. Um, but yeah, that is everything. So thank y'all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.